Hi guys, uh, my name is Lars Andersen and uh, I thought I'd show you my studio setup and template. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, great videos from these guys, Daniel James, Junkie Excel and so forth and uh, I think they're really great and I I've always tried to kind of get knowledge from other composers of kind of how they do it but uh, like it's it's great getting great now that people are kind of opening up their kind of secrets and a little bit more so um so we are all able to kind of learn from each other and take this kind of art forward so here goes uh, my workflow is based on digital performer and i haven't seen that many uh, videos of composers showing their you know huge digital performer template so I, I think this this might be interesting to somebody uh, especially if you're on D DP but in any case here here goes um, here's my computer setup I have a Mac Pro master computer uh, which has all you know running the door and uh, all that stuff then I have a PC slave that's um, uh, built by this company called Vision Door. It's custom built and optimized just for one purpose of you know running the samples in the VE Pro, and that computer is amazing. Those two computers are linked with via 10 gigabit Ethernet connection, which allows me to stream a lot more channels of audio from my slave to my master. Um, I have a Mac mini computer and it's only running Vienna Symphonic Library at the moment and um, I haven't used that much Vienna samples anymore but it's still there uh, when I when I need it so that's that's what that is for at the moment. My audio interface is the Universal Audio Apollo I love that so all my mics and line in go through that and it's also of course running the UID plugins I also have a complimentary Octo card, uh, so I have a total of 12 processor units running UID plugins, and I'm, I'm peaking at about maybe 80% now, so maybe may have to, at some point I have to get a new one, but I'm, I'm a really kind of big user of UID plugins, I love those. Uh, then I have like a really big important thing for me is my Bricasti M7 reverb and uh, I have it as a send on almost all my audio tracks so all my samples go into that I mean the, the, have a send to that um, just anything basically it kind of glues it all together and I love that it's a big part of my own sound I uh, have a lot of guitars uh, you know all the basic stuff my main mics are Royer R one two twos ribbon mics really absolutely amazing i was looking for uh, some sort of mic system that would allow me to kind of which would be like an all-round thing and uh, the royers have been amazing for me they they whatever i record with them they just sit in the mix really well and especially the like, classical instruments they sound awesome and uh they're not as bright as some microphones, but I can crank out the brightness, you know, give air in, in you know, EQ them. And they're really EQable mics. I, I love them. I have an iPad for my touch control stuff. I have Touch OSC running in that. I can uh, kind of show you that in some other video, probably. Um, my main monitors are Genelec 8040s. Um, they're great, but the, the problem with those is I think they sound a little bit too good. They're like, I, I consider them to be a little bit like, like a hi-fi uh, speakers more than monitors because they kind of flatter the sound a little bit too much so they don't translate as well. So I'm thinking of buying, i would be looking into maybe Amphians or uh, something else. Have to see, have to see. But so far I've been using them for seven years or so and uh, it's it, there been okay so I'm I use a digital digital performer I'm on 8.07 at the moment I've been using that for seven years I know all the ins and outs of that so it's it's been great um, sometimes I'm, I'm thinking of switching to Cubase or or something else but they've 
haven't still I think all the doors can do all the same things it's just you know you have they're just kind of different things are in different places and you know that sort of stuff so I still DP is awesome for doing you know film film sort of stuff I use Ableton Live for um, kind of experiments audio mangling and uh, I do my mastering in Ableton Live uh, then uh, Pro Tools is for Basically, uh, I I have all my stems I do inside DP, and then I drag and drop those stems to Pro Tools. They are all time stamped, so they they I can spot them in the right places in Pro Tools. So I have one session that has all the movies cues in one place, and it's 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 a very good practice to do that. Um, I have a Logic and Cubase. I use them sometimes when I'm working with uh, other com composers, uh, so we can switch files. Um, I think it's a good idea to know how to use, you know, all the main main software. Um, then I use uh, VE Pro, obviously, uh, for my samples and contacts and and uh, synths. They go in those. So VE Pro is running on three computers. I uh, my main synths are Zebra and Serum and Massive at the point and at the moment the Zebra is my main main synth. I have twelve Zebras on my uh, Mac Pro VE Pro. Um, I my philosophy is try to learn just a very limited amount of synths and really go to town with those and try to learn to do you know every conceivable sort of sound with one synth and zebra is just really great in that sense um i just bought the serum i love that it's really amazingly flexible you could you kind of you can put an lfo or an envelope into any parameter in that thing it's i love that it i'm going to use that more and more i think and then i i have uad plugins like i said they are um they're my mainstay. I love the EQs, reverbs, you know, compressors. They're all UAD and um, just a big part, big part of my sound. Sample-wise, the usual suspects, I think, you know, everyone uses the same things. Um, Spitfire, ATO, AW, Los Angeles Strings, uh, Vienna samples, heavy the output. Um, I think the trick is kind of what you do with those samples and uh, I also EQ EQ my samples when necessary too, you know, so that you have a, a little bit, you, I mean, you, let me put it this, this way, if you have a Spitfire, like a mural first violin legato, you put an, like a Neve 31102 EQ in that and you can kind of a little bit transform that sound and you have your own thing i think it's always good to kind of so it doesn't sound like everyone else's okay so my main template is here i have about thousand tracks here you know total if you include all the all the audios and uh, midi and oxes and everything it's going pushing pushing above thousand tracks right now uh, so, uh, conductor track, master fader, temp track dialogue goes in here. Here, I re when I record stuff, they all go in here. Um, uh, Oxys are here, so my PC. Um, ma main slave, these are the inputs from those. They all come through here, and I have they and they have a send out to Brucasti and the and the you know full mix when I record and also the right uh, so the you know pianos go to pianos and so forth so here all that uh, my Mac mini stuff so these are all the Vienna samples they go in from here and then uh, on my main computer I have a third VE Pro and it has all the synths they come from here so if I'm doing something on this I can EQ it straight away from this mix window for, uh, I can show it to you later uh, and then all the contacts that need some sort of 
different you know manipulation they i i i so i always have a different thing on my contact one and different thing on contact two and, and you know like that omnisphere grand gravity massive they're going here and uh, i have a roll and dimension d that's not in use at the moment and the percasti so that all gets funneled into the stems that i have here and uh and the full mix when I record the track. So I basically have to do just, you know, this and then record all the stems in one go. And uh, my computer is able to do that. So when I'm done, I just drag and drop the files to my Pro Tools session. On to the MIDI tracks, I have, uh, you know, uh, I'll try to show these quite quickly. AW Albion, Cinewinds. Um, the, the ethnic stuff goes here, Hollywood winds, Vienna, Vienna woodwinds are still really great sounding things. Um, brass, Cinebrass is, uh, I love that, Albion brass, really amazing sound. Um, Symphobia, Vienna stuff isn't used that much anymore, I used to. The Spitfire, Hans Zimmer stuff I use on almost everything, good stuff really really also flexible with the all different mic positions and mixes those guys are doing amazing job um timpanis drums cymbals they're on here bells um i was working on christmas advertising and the the sleigh bell uh, jingle bells got used a lot <laughs> uh so miscellaneous um then kind of cinematic percussion, which has, you know, hybrid tools, really amazing if you do trailer tracks, which I do a lot. Um, loop menus, I use those a little bit too. Uh, different kind of percussion, percussion, tone hammer, these are still amazing. Um, mallet stuff, VSL, True Strike, is I use True, True Strike a lot. These are great, the age, age samples. Harps, pianos, I my main piano at the moment is the Garrison Steinway Model D. It has, that's the sound I like. If I listen to like classical piano music, that's the sound I, I the Vienna Celesta is still awesome. I use mainly that usually. And here are the uh, kind of more customizable contacts are in here. So I, I should re, re always name these. I tend not to at some point. So they're not always what they're named after. But these are always kind of custom built for this uh, or custom managed or whatever uh, to specific projects. All my zebras go in here. Uh, AW synths, uh, Symphobia. Then we're on to orchestral effects. So. A lot of effects, really important, especially in trailer music. And then strings, the Spitfire strings, I love those a lot. Uh, and there, you know, there are a lot of different short strings, so uh, different tracks need different sorts of... I, I have it all loaded up here always, so it's, it's just faster for me to work that way. Um, then the 8DO Adagio strings great stuff but I still am the biggest user of LA strings when it comes to trailer music especially because it's kind of the it breaks through it really kind of breaks through that whole um, kind of mix I, I love the sound of those so on to let's see if I did I put it yes so this is my left, I mean, sorry, right monitor. So here I have all the mix windows or mix channels, the aux inputs and sense you can see all in here. So the blue ones are all from PC. As you can see, a lot of different UAD plugins in, in these uh, in inputs as inserts. And like I said, Precasti is on almost every single thing I have. It's it's on on by default, and then I can just mute it or you know 
have less of it or whatever but it it's uh, it's it's my thing i love that um here all the p i mean uh, mac, mac pro uh, mac mini stuff and here are all the synths and pianos and and that sort of stuff so whoops i'm new to this so i have to check that I'm here again. Yes, I am. So, uh, that's it, basically. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can email me or you can uh, leave a comment. Anything like that. I'll be happy to explain more. I probably left something out. You just... Uh, you can ask me. I'll, I'll, I hope to do these videos a little bit more. I think it's a good thing to kind of be open, kind of put your stuff out there and... Uh, people learn and and um, yeah it's it's great thanks thanks guys for watching see you next time